I am older than sin, but somehow the only one left because of Billy. He takes care of me. He may think I'm his father. He certainly loves me, the poor idiot. William Billy Hope is, at the same time, one of the most important characters and one of the least important characters to the journey of Miles Upshur in the game Outlast. The host of the entity known as the Wall Rider, Billy is seemingly the only patient at the asylum who was truly compatible with the morphogenic engine. His advancement in the facility's research allowing him to fully manifest the creature that the entire facility had been operating to create. Yet, despite this, we never have any real interactions with Billy Hope the person. He's only visible inside the morphogenic engine sphere, where he has presumably been for quite some time. The story of Billy Hope as we know it begins with his mother, Tiffany Hope. While we don't know much about the circumstances surrounding Billy's institutionalization, nor what life was like for he or his mother Tiffany before he came to the asylum, based off the tie-in comic to the series entitled The Murkoff Account, Billy was surrendered to the staff at Mount Massive willingly by Tiffany. Tiffany surrendering her son, who had no real issues, for the promise of a large sum of money with Billy none the wiser as to the conditions of her deal with Murkoff. However, seemingly contradictory documents in the actual game suggest that Billy had agreed to the experiments willingly, with the understanding that his mother would receive financial compensation to help her with hospital bills that she would incur after Murkoff had secretly guided her to cardiac arrest, compensation that she would never receive. These documents suggest that Tiffany had survived her cardiac arrest and was suing the company for taking her son. Whatever the circumstances of his institutionalization, however, Billy came to the Mount Massive Asylum in 2009 at the young age of 19, where he would begin the process of becoming the Wall Rider. Early into Billy's experiments with the morphogenic engine, it became clear to the staff that Billy was special. He caught the eye of the Project Wall Rider lead, Rudolf Wiernicke, and the two became somewhat close over the next few years. Wiernicke would tell Billy tales of the creature known as the Wall Rider, a supernatural entity that originated from Wiernicke's home country of Germany. Wiernicke told Billy the folklore of the creature, and over time, Billy grew to love this aging doctor, even growing to see him as something of a father figure. Things continued this way for quite some time, Billy meeting or surpassing the hurdles of the morphogenic therapy, until one day, he managed to fully manifest the creature that Wiernicke had for so long told him tales of. Billy had created the creature known as the Wall Rider from thousands of nanomachines that had been expelled from his own body, created from his own cells, mixed with hormones pumped into him by the researchers of Project Wall Rider, controlling this swarm through his lucid dream state, as his actual physical body remained hooked up to the morphogenic engine. However, unfortunately for the researchers who had helped to create this godlike monster, Billy's reign over the asylum wasn't quite as benevolent as they had hoped. Billy as the Wall Rider slaughtered everyone that he found in the underground laboratories of the asylum, even going up to the main grounds and doing as he pleased. Billy killed dozens of people, staff or otherwise. However, there was one man that he left alive his father figure, Rudolf Wernicke, who'd locked himself safely inside his room. It was also during this chaos that a man named Miles Upshur arrived at the asylum following an anonymous tip from a whistleblower. Miles experienced the fear of the asylum, before eventually finding his way down to the domain of Billy's Wall Rider. Managing to evade the entity, Miles met with Rudolf Wernicke, 
who told him that he needed to kill the Wall Rider's host, that he needed to kill Billy Hope in order to end this horrifying nightmare. And though the task was quite difficult, requiring more than a few near-death experiences, Miles managed to unhook Billy from his life support, seemingly killing the young patient. However, despite appearances, Billy survived the events at Mount Massive. A large chunk of the nanites that he'd created seemed to have fused themselves to Miles after Billy's life support was cut. But enough remained that they managed to somehow revive Billy, and he escaped the asylum, fleeing home to his mother Tiffany. Tiffany was surprised to see her son alive and well, and welcomed him home with open arms. But it wasn't long before Murkoff agents came snooping around following up on potential loose ends from the Mount Massive incident. Having no idea that Billy was still alive, they questioned Tiffany about Miles Upshur, and she told them that she had never heard of him. But the agents could tell that something was amiss with Miss Hope's attitude, and they had her placed under surveillance to make sure that she was telling the truth. A short time after Tiffany was placed on surveillance, she was visited by her ex-boyfriend, and after a verbal altercation, he struck Tiffany, enraging Billy, who followed him to his truck, where he proceeded to kill his mother's ex. This disturbance alerted the man who was placed on surveillance, and upon inspection, he too was killed by Billy. But not before getting word out that the Wall Rider was still alive. Following the word from the surveillance officer, the Murkoff agents returned to Tiffany's home, this time questioning her about what had happened and about her son's current whereabouts. One of the officers, Pauline Glick, goading Tiffany about how she could afford such fine crystal figurines, hypothesizing that she had sold her son to Murkoff in order to obtain such funds. This realization angered Billy and he attacked his mother, killing her as the Murkoff agents fled and prepared an attack on the home, an attack which seemingly put an end to this unfortunate boy for good. Regardless of his fate, however, Billy Hope is one of the saddest tales of Mount Massive, no matter the circumstances that truly brought him to the asylum. Either he was betrayed by his mother or betrayed by his own naivete. Billy was one of the few who wound up in Mount Massive for no good reason, subjected to the horrors of the morphogenic engine to be reborn as something entirely unnatural. Uh.